Now let's move to Syria, a country where you have originally come from as a Kurd, and you have you have been denouncing its government throughout your 25 years of living in exile. While facing an uprising against his regime, President Bashar al-Assad of Syria granted Syrian identity for the Kurdish population in that country. Do you think this comes from a genuine recognition of the rights of the minority Kurds, or is it to pacify the Kurdish population from joining the anti-government uprising? 100% Bashar al-Assad lying. 100%. Because past party opinion in their manifesto, they say all the people in the Arab countries, Arabs, if somebody not Arab should be become Arab, if somebody not uh, does they don't want to be Arab should be moved from there. This is a real identity and everybody believe in Ba'ath of Syria or Iraq from the Kurds and many times they believe with them before unfortunately that means they didn't read their manifestos they don't believe with not with our rights they don't b believe with uh, with the nation as Kurds with, uh, they don't believe with you as a Kurd just to stay in Kurdistan to say I don't want anything as I am as a Kurd I will stay they don't believe with it this first step things the th second one our right not nationalities the Kurdish nation yes the Kurdish parties they asked for nationality for 50 years they didn't give half a nationality for anybody that means the Kurdish parties for 50 years they failed to have Syrian Arab nationality, Syrian Arab nationality for the Kurds. It's a very shame, very shame to, 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 to struggle for 50 years to have Syrian Arab nationality for the Kurds. In my opinion, should struggle for the Kurdish nationality, not the Syrian Arab nationality. Uh, Kurdish rights, we don't, should, should the Kurds now in Syria, they don't ask the Syrians to give us Kurdish school, Kurdish uh, freedom of uh, Kurdish parties, Kurdish uh, club, and, and other, etc., etc. Should have their own state. Syrian Kurdistan, we call it Western Kurdistan. Western Kurdistan, it is two times bigger than West Bank in Palestine. Then the nation there, we have more than 3 million Kurds speaking Kurdish language until today. And we have more than 3 million, other 3 million become Arabs as a language. Their language become Arabic because the, the Arab, Arabic. The situation, it is uh, there, we I think we are nearly as half in, half of the nation of Syria. But the Kurds, they look at themselves as a very small. We, we are the owner of Syria. And I saw many uh, research about the people of Tudmore in the middle of desert of Syria. How they bear buried their died. It is exactly the same way of Yazidis of today. Not as the Islamic. For from thousands of years the Syrian as Kurds. The Arab when they came just one thousand four hundred years ago when the Islam wave came to the area. And they make all this nation as Arabs. It's not correct. In Syria, we have a nation, they are called Arami. I don't know this Arami is connected with Haurami or not. The oldest nation in Syria, Arami. And these people, they have no right to send their children to school to study Arami language. They make them, by force, they make them Arabs. And they are not Arabs. As Durzis, not Arabs. Alawis, not Arabs. In Syria, nobody Arabs. Even these now protesters in Douma and Harasta, they say, 
Look at their names. Duma, Harasta, Erbi, not Arab name. It is Romanian. Romanian name. And go to Duma, you see the people there, blue, uh, blue eyes. They are not Arab. The, the Arabs themselves, this, they are not Arabs. You represented Kurdistan National Congress at the third Al Madhaba International Conference, which took place in Libya in the year 2000. And you have had really good relations with President Muammar Gaddafi of Libya, who is now facing um, a war with Libyan rebels and uh, he's resisting NATO airstrikes to maintain his regime. Now, in opposed to the rest of the Arab leaders in the Middle East, he was actually supportive of Kurdish independence and the formation of Kurdish state throughout all his years in power. Do you think toppling of his regime would in any way affect the Kurdish cause in the Middle East? I, for a long time, I said that not the only Arab leader support the Kurdish cause. Maybe the only leader in the world support the Kurdish cause. He's, he, he was and he is still, still supporting the Kurdish cause, Muammar Gaddafi. Even in this terrible situation in Libya today, he said, why is they make a no-fly zone in Libya? Because I killed some terrorists in the east of Libya. Why they don't make no-fly zone on Turkey? They killing the people, the Kurdish people for hundreds of years. In this terrible situation, he said that. Uh, nobody without mistakes. As a human, Muammar Gaddafi, he, he made mistake in his life, in his uh, ruling Libya. But uh, he doesn't deserve to be removed from the power. I met him in 97, 1997, and I noticed that person, this leader, I am telling you the only leader or the only politician in the world, he say what is in his heart on his tongue. The most of the politician, they have something in their heart and something else on their tongue, but Qazafi, what is in his heart on his tongue. He's very simple, very true, uh, uh, truth person, and uh, one of the example he told me in that time, I become bad person because I supported uh, Nelson Mandela and Yasser Arafat and Jerry Adam of Ireland. They put my name in the black list because I support these three people. And these three people, they went to White House and become good boys. Why I still bad person? He's a very simple person, Qazafi, and he's very good friends for the Kurds. Unfortunately, the situation, this wave coming to him, I think by mistake shouldn't come to him because many other Arab leaders, they deserve it, but not Qazafi. So do you think it would affect the Kurdish cause and, 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 and in, in, in sure. some ways? Yes, sure. Because, yeah. because uh, he's from the heart, he loves the Kurds. He's a person, I, when I uh, give it to him uh, as a gift, Kurdistan flag, he was sitting and he stand up and kissed the Kurdistan flag and he put it on his head. Nobody curse do that. And Qazafi done. You have never been a fan of um, autonomy. However, that's where the Kurds seems to be heading in the Middle East, uh, despite the formation of Kurdistan regional government as an official part of Iraq. Major Kurdish political parties in Turkey, such as the PKK and others in Syria and Iran, have dropped their demands for secession and formation of a Kurdish state. Now let me conclude by asking, where next for Kurdish independence and the formation of Greater Kurdistan, a cause which your organization is committed to? Should the people themselves uh, uprise? The Kurdish nation themselves uprise? Don't allow any leader asking for to be under control of these states.
I respect all, not all, I respect the, uh, what is they call Josh during uh, 60s, as Maheherki. I respect him. Why? Because he never said, in the name of the Kurdish people, I am going to Baghdad and get, become uh, pro-Iraqi uh, government. But these people, in the name of Kurdiyati, in the name of the Kurdish people, they make the same things as Mahi done. But in the name of the Kurds. I respect the Mahi much more than these people. They want to keep Kurdistan under control, these savage nations of Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Iran. These nations never understand Never, because they don't give their nation any basic human rights. How to give national rights to other nation? It is impossible. So I am asking the Kurdish nation to uprise in Iraqi Kurdistan, Syrian Kurdistan, Turkish, and Iranian. It is not Syrian and Turkish and Iraqi Kurdistan. It is Western Kurdistan and Eastern Kurdistan, Northern Kurdistan, and Southern Kurdistan. Thank you very much.